up, what up? This your boy Triggs, man. God, body, you little bitch. And, um, yo, bow. Yo, bow wow, man. So, what's, what's up, man? This nigga bow wow losing his motherfucking mind, man. I know y'all seen the video of this nigga running up on this bitch in this elevator. I know y'all seen this video of this dude running up on this bitch in this elevator. What would make this rich ass dude get that mad to make him run up on a bitch in the elevator? Come tell you, nah. I'm rich as fuck. Bitch ain't got too many money times to play with me. All that arguing in public and shit. Get the fuck out of here. I can go buy a bitch. What is on Bow Wow's mind, man? What's on? What is it about that girl made him wig out like that? That's some old simp ass weird shit, though. And then it ain't like they was in their own crib. This nigga in public fooling. He couldn't control himself till he got to the room. Use a bow foon. How you can't motherfucking control yourself, man? This nigga worrying up on that bitch like he's about to fucking get her to how you get like nigga. Don't get a bitch to how you get. You gotta let the bitch live. You gotta let the bitch live for a second player. And and back to speaking on letting the bitch live. Goddamn, you can't be uh going off in a bitch shit because she pisses you off, dog. And I hear this about some, uh, she flirting with Shaq. Snap a bitch flirting with Shaq. Let that bitch go in the fuck on. See, us niggas, I'm starting to see niggas have, it gotta be a control issue. You don't need a bitch for shit, you rich as fuck. So it's, it's fucking with your ego. See, see, so we gotta let this ego shit go. Oh, y'all don't know about this shit. But we gotta let the ego shit go. You know what I'm saying? Because when a motherfucker fuck with your ego, you liable to do any motherfucking thing, man. You liable to do anything. Like, I understand. Like, bitch, who you think you is? You just gonna talk to this nigga in front of me? I understand you feeling like that. But, Look what all this came down to. You got TMZ, and TMZ ain't worth a fuck. If they ever, if I ever get up and they bring come to my face with some shit, I'm acting like I'm Ray Charles. I don't see him. I'm still fucked up. How TMZ turned that footage in or Takashi on the phone? But that's neither here nor there. And um, back to this ego thing, man. Your ego got you in some shit, player. Your ego got you in some shit, playboy. Now you looking like a buffoon. A goddamn buffoon. Fuck around with that girl in that motherfucking elevator, man. Fuck. And I'm like... Over Shaq? You do your whole career away. Now, if it come out to the way it come out to you beat this bitch ass and still, well, clearly you didn't beat her up. Unless you gave this bitch all gut shots. But the way you handled the player, you shouldn't have did that, man. And she was calm as hell, though. So she was acting like you, she know you couldn't whoop her ass. Ain't you from, uh... Bompton? Is that how they doing Bompton? Looking at them pictures, you wasn't doing nothing to get your ass whooped. And up on that elevator whooping like that, man. That's the other part. How you was on that elevator whooping like that, then them pictures come out, you look like that. Maybe next time you should shut the fuck up. For real. That bitch looked like she was not playing with your ass after them pictures came out. I seen them motherfucking pictures and you look like a motherfucking goofy. You know what I'm saying? Look like she just grabbed a whole 
rake and smacked you across the face with that bitch. Stupid ass face ass. <laughs> A buffoon. That's what he act like. Everybody write that in the comment right now. A buffoon. God damn it. And this motherfucker. Uh, back with the bitch though. Why? Why? This is only gonna happen again. If if this story true that she was talking to Shaq, it's only gonna happen again. And how the motherfuckers know it was Shaq? Where did this story come from? Hmm? Where did the story come from? I'm pretty sure Shaq don't want your bitch. Probably a smasher, but Shaq don't want your bitch. And if Shaq can smash your bitch, you shouldn't want her anyways. So what the fuck? You got money. Go to Dubai and get a bitch. Go to Pontiac and get a bitch. Go to Florida and get a bitch. Why is you going nuts over this bitch? You did something and you don't want to let it go. She said something to you. Was that it? No, I think that's what it was. She said something crazy to this nigga. That he don't want to be let out. And he's like, bitch, I'll beat your ass. Said, now nah, what? That's what it was. This nigga got a gay room right back. Mm-hmm. Or a gay look. Yeah. That's what it is. Cause I can't see him. Why would you snap like that? Or he was drunk as fuck. Then he act like a little bitch when he get drunk. But who knows, man. It's a crazy story. Crazy motherfucking story, man. But anywho, y'all motherfuckers, check out the motherfucking Triggs Amish Podcast. Go to Google, type in Triggs Amish Podcast. And goddamn, check that shit out. Got four episodes on there. I just started the podcast. I get my nice little views. Just type it in, man. T R I G G S A M O S. All social medias, man. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Don't be a buffoon. And um, shit. Don't forget to hit that cash app, man. Dollar sign triggers limits, man. Appreciate everything. God, body, little bitch. Gra gra.